All right, y'all, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Crypto Thieves. Um, I got a great video on actually a cool device that I use. A lot of said tech gurus have been saying not to put Windows on your Steam Deck. I'm here to actually tell you that I think it's a lot better um, than Steam OS. Now, don't get me wrong, I love Steam OS. I love what they're doing for Linux over there. And it's, it's good if you just want to pick up and go. But I just saw, when I saw the Steam Deck, I just thought it's capable of so much more than what you're able to do with Steam OS. And I feel like Windows and the new drivers that have been being released from open source communities and even Valve themselves have really pushed the limits of like handheld gaming. And I'm just, I'm really excited for it. So first and foremost, we'll talk about the installation process. It's very simple. All you need is a USB A to C flash drive you'll create a Windows media drive with that once that's all loaded up and good to go you'll then stick it into the Steam Deck using the USB C and reboot with using uh, holding the power button and the up volume button and then it'll get it into the BIOS and you'll be able to select to boot from the Windows drive you created and easily installs once you do install though, the first thing I would do is go to Valve's website, go to Steam, and download their Windows driver for Steam Deck. Um, and they're free, they're super easy to install. They'll definitely, um, some of the stuff will work without it, but I just do it anyway to reassure that it all works. So you'll make sure your speakers are running, you'll keep your Bluetooth and Wi-Fi and then you'll also be able to keep your SD um, card reading capabilities. Now, me, I didn't need, the Wi-Fi worked without it. It just depends what model you got. Uh, I have just an original, um, the original, not the OLED. I did send it in one time for warranty recently, and they sent me a brand new one when my screen went out on the other one. So, you know, Valve's been super professional, and I, I just really love their product. So you'll go over there, you'll download those. Then there's something that's called Steam Deck Tools on GitHub. You'll wanna download that package and install those programs as well. What these will do will give you the capability to, to overclock your Steam Deck. You'll be able to max out your CPU speed, your RAM speed, and even um, go up to 15 watt gaming. And this really does help um, with performance, um, especially the reason and the whole reason that I actually switched to Windows was because I wasn't able to play the games I wanted to on Steam OS. Like I like to play Grizzly World um, RP, which is a Grand Theft Auto RP server that's on 5M. Now, uh, 5M is only c compatible with Windows in terms of being able to play the game. You can run your server from Linux on 5M, but you can't play on Linux with 5M. So I, that was the original. So that works. Also, Epic Game Store Launcher is now available because I'm running Windows. And you can run Fortnite. Um, I play Fall Guys over there. And then there's a new game that's on Steam and Epic that's STG Gaming or STG Football. And um, so, yeah but you'd be able to run that on steam os anyway but it's, if i wanted to play it from the epic store launcher because you do get different prizes depending on which launcher you use it from um and epic has the better prizes in that game i'd be able to do so so it just really gives you a lot of flexibility um also you're able to stream i mean you were able to stream the other way but being in desktop mode wasn't best for performance on games when you, you were in Steam OS, where now, even though I'm just always in desktop mode with Windows, I'm able to run multiple applications and um, navigate through them a lot easier without losing on like the performance. I can still be on the 15 watt, I can still be overclocked with the tools. Now, Decky tools will also make it so, our Steam Deck tools will also make it so you can use your, your um, Steam Deck controller, the one that's built into the console itself on epic games or any game that you use um, it makes it um, it's just a plug-in that's a part of that package that you'll definitely want to make sure you're taking advantage of and getting familiar with um, for games like GTA online I'm able to map the back buttons on the Steam Deck to uh, emulate some of the actions I would need a keyboard to do I also 
the on-screen keyboard is definitely um, still usable and viable and with using the Steam Deck Steam Deck tools from GitHub you'll, you'll be able to keep the same shortcuts that you're used to in terms of uh, brightening your screen or bringing up the on-screen keyboard or control all delete uh, or all f 4 by Steam and holding B down to get out of a particular program or shut it down um, so you know the, I, the, the pros definitely outweigh the cons some of the cons though I have saw is it gets a little weird when it's sleeping um, or restarting sometimes it'll jump back into the bios and you'll have to just you know deal with that so the main thing is just make sure you're keeping it charged and 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 not letting the battery die or, or you know what I mean being uh, in sleep without being charged for too long I, I think that was really the issue when I sent it in to valve for for um, my warranty on my on the original device uh, I think it just went to sleep and it just never woke back up but at the same time I don't think I have my uh, drivers installed correctly either and but valve didn't hold it either way either way they said Windows doesn't we installing Windows doesn't void your warranty in any way so you're still protected as the same as if you if you had either operating system um, and I do not do a dual boot I do just a straight Windows boot so it's basically just like a laptop in the switch of a form uh, in this form of a switch um, and yeah bro it's pretty much about it if you got any questions on how I actually did it you could join the discord I'd, I'd, I'd uh, definitely help you guys out step by step there's plenty of videos online to help you though but you know if you want to reach out and ask any questions or you know need any references get at me um, the discord link is in the bio and you know thank you guys for watching um, you know streaming and gaming on the go has never been easier and um, I know Windows gets a lot of slack but uh, it's still definitely my favorite platform to game from whether that's mobile or at home on PC so thank you guys and peace and love